rock that holds many answers to many questions. These kinds of fragments fell over a space of 100 kilometers as reports came from Cape St. Francis as well as Kirkwood. A very rare occurrence as only 52 such events have ever been recorded in South Africa. Well, I think what is really exciting about this is that it happened in daytime. So a lot of people witnessed this event and everyone can be like, I was there type of thing. Mm. So that's very exciting. But it's also just um, something really cool and novel that something from outer space is here in our backyard. Um, So yeah, Mm. but in terms of the scientific value that this offers of course it can tell us a lot about the solar system and the formation of planets and so on. Meteors enter the Earth's atmosphere every day but most of them are as small as dust particles once they have broken down. It is suspected that the meteorite that hit the Eastern Cape was only one meter in size before breaking up into thousands of pieces. Bigger ones hitting the Earth are still a possibility. Definitely it's going to happen. Uh, When it's going to happen we don't know. Uh, so, so we are being bombarded by between one and 200 tons of rocky material from outer space every day. Most of that is tiny, it's dust-sized particles. So if you get out away from the city lights at night, you will see a meteor, a tiny streak of light, burn, it's a piece of burning up rock coming in so fast that the air molecules in the atmosphere, even at 100 kilometers altitude, start to rub against it, heat it up to the point that the rock melts. Uh, And the the atmosphere, in a way, is our friend and our shield. It can protect us from all that. Otherwise, we'd be ducking these little peas falling out of the sky all the time. The fragments that have been collected will form part of our heritage as they are of historical value. A visit uh, uh, effort uh, with with being Heritage Month, we always celebrate our culture, but we don't actually think that heritage is everything and, and for, from our own origins. So this is one way in which we can actually find out about how our Earth formed, tell us about how the galaxy formed, how, how the solar system is forming. So we, as, as a, um, the South African agency, basically, that, is, that governs these kind of um, events and these kind of antiquities, make sure that um, this is preserved so that scientists can study it and so that more human knowledge can be spread throughout South Africa. And obviously, it is a sense of national pride, which is a very big part of our rainbow nation and nation building. More science- Scientific tests will be run on the fragment remains. Kim Daniels, SBC News, Kobecha.